for honey tasting. <laughs> so this helps me look at the sun. Hello guys! Hey guys! Today is day three of our cruising trip. <laughs> It's just a cruise day today, so we're basically taking it easy. We had some breakfast already at the park cafe, mm -hmm. which, eh, nah. not recommend. I think the buffet was better, honestly. Anyway, since we're stuck on the ship the whole day, we're going to go a little tour of the ship, especially on the higher deck areas where there's a lot of yeah. things to do. And also today, because we're just cruising all day, there's a ton of activities that the ship has for us. So maybe I'll check that out because there's nothing else to do. And when we say nothing else to do, it's because we're, uh, you know, introvert people. A lot of people are upstairs on the 16th floor, you know, playing in the pool, doing some water slide stuff. Sun tanning. Sun yeah. tanning. Enjoying, you know. yeah. Not us. <laughs> no, there's actually a lot of activities. Just We're just not interested. I mean, there's ice skating, there's basketball, I don't know, it just dancing. doesn't appeal to me, that's the thing. Okay, well, yeah, let's go look. Gamer boy. So this is on the 16th floor. This is Central Park, which is like a little pretty garden area. So these are actually real plants. We went to Park Cafe this morning. You wanna go ride some horses? I always ride my horses. the solarium which is for the 18 plus people that's where the jacuzzi is at so it's pretty empty here because it's dinner time and i'm sure everyone is out at dinner but it's a pretty cool place to just sunbathe and go in the jacuzzi So we're back in the buffet area. And this is what we have for breakfast. Bacon, eggs, and hash brown. Hello everyone. Today is day four of our cruising journey. And we finally made it into Cozumel, Mexico. Today is a shore excursion day. We're going to go to the island roots, bees, and chocolate tour excursion. It's a four hour excursion. So basically they're gonna take us to taste and see how Mayan cacao is made. And then we're gonna be able to sample some tequila or something like that. And then they also mentioned how we can see the Melipona bees. They're apparently stingless. Really excited to walk around. This is my first time going to Cozumel. So yeah, really, really excited to show you guys what today is going to be like. Let's go! Cozumel, Mexico. We are going to station four because we're doing the island roots and honey chocolate traditions. Let's go see the Mayan bees. So they said the difference between Mayan bees and regular bees is their honey consistency. Yeah, because it's a lot more humid here, the honey 
is thinner than European bee honey. So we're gonna go see them right now and they don't have stingers. So apparently they said that if they do get scared, they're gonna go on your hair. Yeah, they're gonna secrete a chemical to attract other bees to like fly around you. <laughs> Oh, it's peeping its head in the holes because it's shy. Time for a honey tasting. Wow, so, so cool. That they put water there to keep the ants away, huh? Because the ants will steal honey. Yeah. So this helps me look at the sun. Yeah, it looks yeah, yeah. like it's a moon. Hey everybody, this is the tasting area. I'm going to give you the presentation. This is the honey from the European bees. Regular honey. So this is going to be the melipona honey. Very liquidy. No, it looks like there's a little tequila. Yeah, it's almost like a little alcoholic. Yeah, a yeah. little bit, huh? Mm. It's very different. Mm -hmm. It's not like smooth. It's sharp. This is propolis pearls to help with throat. So we just finished the sanctuary tour. Wow, I learned so much. I could really taste the difference between melipona bees honey. So flowery I think it's like taste. It tastes a little bit like alcohol. So yeah. maybe the bees let it ferment a little bit as mm. opposed to like European, it's more sugary. Yeah, but I learned a lot. I really like how they gave us a little testing. Such a cool and unique experience, huh? Yeah. Anyways, yeah, next stop we're gonna go to the chocolate factory. So yay. Strong is that? Mm -hmm. Steven's gonna try the chipotle spicy chocolate. Very subtle. Yeah, very subtle. It's good. Hey guys. Hey, we just finished the chocolate cacao company tour. It was so interesting learning yeah, yeah. about the history of the Mayan culture and how they use it to make cacao and all the benefits of cacao. And I really liked how we get to taste and sample yeah. different flavors. Did you like it? Yeah. So the banana one I tried, it's very subtle. You cannot really taste it unless you like really put it in your mouth and like, yeah, it was good. Pretty strong, but it wasn't bitter or anything. I don't know, I'd recommend it. I mean, obviously it's a tourist trap and everything's tourist prices, but you know, it's a good experience. So we bought three chocolate bars back. We got the mint, banana, and the chipotle one. Yep. Three for $27. <laughs> Coconut ice cream. As more natural is the coconut. So, please, the refrigerator. What about you? Also, you want really? to. How was your tequila tasting? It's good. You know me, Mr. Alcoholic. We got so many shots of you drinking I know. it. Blackmail. <laughs> Very fresh. Very good. 
Hey guys, we just got back to the ship after our excursion. So what'd you think? I really liked the tour. I liked that it was right on time. You just got on and off mm -hmm. the bus. It was very structured. There's a tour guide who was very friendly and informative and in telling us about everything, the history, the culture of the Mayan people. Yeah, my favorite part of the excursion was the bee sanctuary because mm -hmm. I've actually never been to a bee sanctuary and it was nice how we were able to taste honey. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I thought it was interesting seeing the hives and like they're like little teeny tiny bees, you know, and compared to the fat European ones, right? But uh, it was interesting to taste it. Almost like fermented honey. I don't know. It tasted like a hint of alcohol, even mm -hmm. though there wasn't alcohol. Mm -hmm. So that was really cool. The chocolate place was pretty cool too, seeing how they would make traditional like Mayan or Mexican chocolate. So. Cacao. Cacao. The tequila, it was okay, but I don't know. I think I liked the, the B1 the best too, because that was like so exotic, like looking at those type of uh, insects. Yeah, we learned that 95% of Cozumel's economy comes from tourists. So it's just kind of shocking. Like I think we're kind of spoiled as Americans, mm -hmm. but then it's like when you come here and you hear that, it's like, oh. Our tour guide at Nico, he was saying that pre-pandemic, they were getting like nine cruise ships a day mm -hmm. during the busy season. During the pandemic, obviously there was zero, so their like whole economy was destroyed. And but now that you know the pandemic's over, they're getting about seven cruise ships a day. So it's still not back to pre-pandemic time. But I mean, you can imagine like your whole economy just getting crushed by the pandemic. And you know, this area is not as wealthy as like a lot of uh, first world countries, right? They said now it's peak season. I think three more weeks of peak season, but mm -hmm. basically from April to is this September, mm -hmm. there's not going to be a lot of cruise ships because it's going to be really hot. Today, it was like 85. 85? Yeah. But he says in the next couple months, it will go over 100. I mean, it was hot because it's humid here too, mm -hmm. right? So even 85 in the sun is like, oof. But yeah, I can imagine if it was like 110. Holy moly. So they <laughs> are kind of joking and asking us for, you know, more tips. I don't know. Compared to other places in Mexico, the people seem friendlier here. But I mean, you know, my parents were here too. And my dad said he had a different experience. The shops around the port area were like the people there were very pushy. But in my experience with this tour and, you know, these places, they seemed pretty nice. They didn't seem too pushy. They were a little pushy because, mm -hmm. of course, they want tourist money. Tourist money but they weren't as pushy, yes. All right, well, it's gonna be dinner time soon, and then uh, tomorrow we'll be going to Honduras, so that should be fun. See you there. See you. It is dinner time. We are going to Solarium Bistro. Watermelon fita sandwich. I don't know, it's too fancy. I'm not used to this. I'm a Mario. Sure. That looks good. Yummy. 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 